Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh no. So I finally got my hands on the AMBT M60, or excuse me, just you know, flip that around. <laughs> so this is the latest reward vehicle that's being introduced uh, near the end of the World War mode itself. Now, due to a lot of issues going on uh, with the actual game mode itself, you might not be seeing this vehicle for probably an extra day or two as uh, Gaijin tries to expand on it, I guess, like, like much like how they did on the previous one. So... Today, I'm going to be taking a look at this vehicle and seeing, is it worth picking up? Because this will be on the market very soon. I would say probably sometime next week, you'll be seeing this on the player market for probably an outrageous price or maybe even a lesser one. But let's be real here. We're going to be seeing this thing out in mass when people start using the Golden Eagles to pick this up. So I'm here to help you determine whether or not you want to go ahead and pick this up by then. So that being said, the M60 AMBT now, of course, it is 1.99, so this is when it was introduced, of course, as of the time of this video is recording. Uh, let's take a look at the stats really quick. Again, this is the first time I'm actually taking a look at it in detail, whereas I've only played maybe one game with it so far and did quite well in it, too. Uh, so with that, it is a battle rating 10.0 vehicle. It does have a mass of 54.5 tons, a crew of four, typical stuff. An engine power of 1200 horsepower at 2400 RPMs, propelling the vehicle up to 58 kilometers an hour. And I'll be honest with you guys, as, uh, as I played it, first map was American Desert, and it kind of felt incredibly sluggish, in my opinion. But we'll, we'll, we'll showcase that in just a moment. And to those arcade players out there, this is an exceedingly tall vehicle with a visibil uh, visibility of 151%. Excuse me, guys, I just woke up. Okay, so <laughs> bear with me here. Uh, taking a look at the arcade settings, you'll see 2290 horsepower at 2400 RPMs, which is absolutely insane for an M60. 64 kilometers an hour max speed there. This thing, I, I haven't played an arcade yet. I have to. I think it'll be hilarious to play, so we'll find out soon. Uh, so with that being said, let's take a look at the armor char characteristics really quick. As you can see here, it only has uh, just cage armor or slat armor. They want to go ahead and call that. Uh, which really doesn't help too much, especially at this battle rating. Outside of that, you don't have any sort of composite. You have no extra protection, of course. And you have ammunition pretty much everywhere. Look at that. Uh, yeah, poor driver surrounded by ammunition. And the engine's not even sealed off either. Yeah, that's that sucks for him. <laughs> So moving forward, we're going to be taking a look at the modification tab here. As you'll see, it does have a laser rangefinder. Of course, it is a relatively modern-ish upgraded for a vehicle. Uh, it does have Generation 2 thermal sights. You do get in the 120mm gun a uh, stock round of the M830, which is nothing new. You know, 480 at 10 meters zero degrees, 416 at 30, and 240 at 60, which is probably pretty much going to be dealing with for the first uh, good half of this tank itself until you get that Sable round, which is a Tier 3 modification, thankfully. Uh, but this is where it's going to shine. The KEW it is a brand new shell type to this game. 583 millimeters at 10 meters degrees, 505 at 30, and 337 at 60. Uh, at 1500, you got 542, 469, and 313, which is probably the more effective range in my opinion. Honestly, this is now the second best shell type in the game behind CL3143. And uh, right above OF40 120F1, I believe that's the French one. Uh, take a look at that really quick right here. Yeah, just look at those. The, these uh, 30 and 60 is about the same. Outside of that, the flat pen is pretty, pretty damn good, which you won't be facing too much at these tiers anyway. So that is absolutely insane. You do get a 25 millimeter gun up here, which unfortunately will not be used for anything other than bringing down trees. As you see, a uh, three meter three millimeter pen uh, all the way through 900 meters a second of velocity etc so yeah this is uh, something you will not be using to break barrels breaches etc I think I mean I haven't really used it but I can well imagine it won't be able to do that uh, outside of that everything else is pretty standard for the most part so yeah taking a look at the optics really quick we do have a zoom of this is absolutely fantastic three times to ten times the site fov of 24 to 7 that is absolutely nuts the image quality of uh, the the uh peripherals are just absolutely amazing or excuse me the fov is absolutely amazing especially when zoomed in too so this is definitely a vehicle you're gonna be using to snipe for uh sure I hope that makes sense. I'm sorry, guys. Sleepy Justin is very sleepy here. <laughs> so I haven't even had breakfast yet. Uh, but yeah, that being said, let's go ahead and uh, take this right out to some gameplay, shall we? Yeah, down. Boys, there, right? Where you're at, buddy? Uh-uh. 
Nope, no thanks. I'm leaving. Oh. Hey, that actually worked. Uh, I think he's right here. Yep. Oh, yeah, this is dirty. <laughs> Let's get him. There we go. That was dirty. Take my left. Oh, boy. Come on, I gotta fix my useless optics. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh, I think he's just... Yep, he did, but he's done. Beautiful. T-72, I think. Uh, uh, T-80, I think, without the ERA. Before he gets us. Beautiful. Man, this thing hits hard. Look at my front. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Nope. Oh, he's got me. He's got me. Yep. Oh, man, so he cannot take a hit. Oh, boy. Good kill, good kill. Oh, boy. Saw that hate coming down the road. There it is. Come here. Boop. <laughs> Sorry, a little uh, 285. Oh! Oh! Man! That went better than expected. Oh boy, oh boy, wait, stay there, wait, wait, stay there. Thank you. Ooh, that's, uh, that's three for three. I'll take it. Hey, whoa, 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 where was that? Well, I see you, sort of. You killed my commander. You SOB, I see him. And give me a boop. There it is, another one, beautiful. Another 2A5. What's this? Oh, man, there's a lot of hate over there. Hold up, let's do 14 for good measure. Nope. Try that one more time. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know how we balance that. Hit the dead space, that's why. Get this guy? Oh, yeah, we can get him. Oh, oh no. Man, someone got him right as our shell made impact. That's a shame. Oh, is this? Stay there. Stay there, stay there. Beautiful. T eighty B. There's another one. I don't think we can get him actually. Wait, wait, maybe? Can we? Can we? No. Oh no. What is that? Oh, it's a uh T sixty four T eighty B. One or the other. There we go. Sixty four Bravo. Beautiful. Man, this thing hits hard. So, uh, I'm pretty sure you've noticed if you're this far into the video, this thing has no engine sound at all right now. Just listen to that. Yeah. Not even in the, uh, in the gunner view. It has no engine sound. And, uh, I can well imagine that is just a bug for right now because this vehicle is still a little unfinished. So, yeah, take that as you will. Oh, God. Oh, you bastard. That was terrifying. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Smart guy. Didn't do it. Oh, no. He's going to do it again. Hold up. Hold up. We might be able to get him. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, no. Oh, trade. Beautiful. <laughs> there he is. It's not a leopard. Oh, no. Poor thing. I'm sorry. 
God, banana peeled barrel. Yikes. Oh, 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 I got you too. Boop. Uh. Okay, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you're mine too. Stay there. Um. What? Okay. I guess I'm just a horrible shot. All right, this should do it. Oh, man. Are you kidding, dude? There he goes. All right, get the J out for that one. I love Russian black hole munition, huh? Oh, boy. Oof. Oh. Oh, butt pucker was real on that one, to be honest. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. For real. Oh, ow. Uh, yeah, I deserve that. Anyone at distance? Oh, hey, there's the first one. 1900. Right there. Let's get him. Beautiful. Another bag light, huh? Oh, wait, hold up. There's more. 2000. We'll say right there. Maybe. Very nice. Yeah, he's not shooting back for a little bit. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Thank you. Beautiful. God, the shell does not care about angles, does it? Yep. That's the last of them. I think there's one there, but he's done. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, I figured as much. Oh, 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 I see him. I see him. Stay there. Beautiful. And what's this? Nothing. Boop. Oh, wait. No, that's not a good boop. He's going to break my gun. I already know it. He's going to break my gun. Come on, come on, come on. Fire. Yes. Oh, man. I was way too overly confident with that one. Notice how quiet the engine is. It's almost as if it's not even on. <laughs> no, nah, it's just a bug. It, like I said, it'll be fixed later. I'm sure of it. Oh, hi. Yeah, he's uh, he's dead. No, no horizontal drive. No engine. Yep. Sorry, man. Number 2K front. Can we get him before he reloads? Yes, we can. Excellent. Sorry, Abrams. I couldn't save you, man. I tried. One more front. Oh, man. I tried. I did good, but not good enough, apparently. Yep, right in the neck, too. So I've had my fill of the M60 AMBT. Now, this is the bit where I like to be brutally honest. So with that being said, I really don't know where I stand with this vehicle. Yeah, it does have great firepower. It has really good optics. Generation 2 thermal sights, which is the only one at this tier, uh, surprisingly enough. I mean, the M1A2 did have it before Gaijin took it away for whatever reasons they deemed justified, I guess. Uh, the 20 millimeter on top of the vehicle itself does not work too well. The only thing you'll be using it for is defeating low flying aircraft and helicopters. Outside of that, all you'll be doing is maybe blinding your opponents, knocking down walls, or even bringing down trees a little bit. But outside of that, this is an M60 as well. So that means you have no armor, period. No ERA. The side slat armor does nothing to uh, mitigate against the powerful heat FS shells that we have at the higher tiers. And uh, anything and everything that is a 105 and above can and will destroy you very quickly. Even heat shells, even low-grade heat shells will defeat you very quickly. Which is not necessarily a bad thing because, again, this is an event vehicle. It is a reward vehicle. And you don't want things like that to be inherently overpowered uh, for the sake of balance, I guess. But that's... I guess just my opinion so uh would i recommend this vehicle absolutely sort of i think i wanted to say absolutely but no i, I would say honestly sort of because yes it is a good collector's item it's something i should say to be honest about is everyone should grab this to collect it but to use it uh you kind of got to be a little situational with it you gotta understand how to play with this because again you don't have survivability on this thing whatsoever uh that might vary from person to person depending on the situation but for the most part for me it did not survive 
at all. So uh, take that as you will. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about this. Is it something you want to go ahead and, you know, kind of invest your Golden Eagles into? Maybe even play the event now and definitely get this out of the way and grab it? Or is it something you'll just probably never touch? Feel free to let me know down in the comments below, guys. I do enjoy reading those very much. And yeah, that's honestly really it. So if you guys happen to have enjoyed everything or want to see this gameplay live, you are more than welcome to check out my Twitch streams. Link is down in the description below. As always, I do stream on uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and the weekends over uh, at, uh, well, of course, Twitch at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on those given times. So feel free to uh, stop on by and say what's up. And yeah, that's really it. So Sleepy Justin is probably going to go take a nap or something. So I will see you guys not only in the next videos or the streams, but in War Thunder itself. Until next time.